Many people only hear the word Wolverine from its overuse in sports mascots, X-Men films, and the cult classic movie Red Dawn. Wolverines! Some people question if it is merely a real creature. In reality, Wolverines are a mysterious species that lack the attention that they deserve. Yet, Wolverines, when dispersing from their natal homes, travel extreme distances to find a new place to reside. That's why we think Wolverines are this week's extreme animal. There is little collected data about this species, so explaining its extreme dispersal behavior can be a challenge. That's when I found out it was the Wolverine's claw the whole time. <laughs> Wolverines are the least studied carnivore in all of North America. Thankfully, scientists around the world are picking up the slack. As more data is published in scientific papers by hardworking scientists and researchers, it's becoming even more clear that every male and most female individuals disperse at extreme distances. <laughs> Please let my colleagues describe how far wolverines actually do disperse. A paper written by Newt van Gen and his co-authors report that individual wolverines in Sweden and Norway disperse on average between 51 kilometers for males and 60 kilometers for females. According to the Wolverine Foundation, however, Wolverines in North America have been recorded traveling distances even further. Scientists have tracked individuals dispersing 496 kilometers. That's equal to 300 miles. Nearly 20 miles can be traveled in just one night. Male Wolverines maintain a home range about three times the size of females. However, they can encompass more than one female within it. There is no definitive answer as to why Wolverines demonstrate such extreme dispersal behaviors. But there are some interesting hypotheses offering a variety of plausible explanations. One theory is that males disperse extreme distances in search of mates. Brings us to another interesting plausible explanation. Wolverines live in high altitude, rugged country above the timberline year round. Wolverines use a circumpolar distribution that corresponds with the boreal zone of the northern hemisphere. Wait, what does that mean? Well, I'll tell you, son. This means that they thrive in cold tundra habitats. These places in the winter provide deep snow, which offer great dining, and females will disperse far around northern habitats to find ideal spots for giving birth. To help understand why this dispersal phenomenon occurs, it is key to understand when they disperse. Wolverines disperse around 13 months of age, which is actually prior to sexual maturity. Most females who disperse at this time will tend to stay in their new territories unless they move to a neighboring territory that has more to offer. From here, theory suggests that wolverines may still continue to disperse to new locations due to social pressures or a lack of resources in their respective territories. Well, wait a second, who cares? Why does that matter? This species is important to understand because populations are decreasing in some locations and human development is on a trajectory to further habitat fragmentation. Wolverine dispersal behavior is without a doubt this week's extreme behavior. Yet research only offers suggestions as to why this extreme behavior occurs and a full understanding will require a much more in-depth exploration of this species. Thank you for exploring this week's extreme animal behavior with us and you can find more knowledge of this subject from our citations which are in the attached bibliography and at the end of this video. Oh, oh